Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teardown Tuesday. Today we're taking a look at a commonly requested part for this series, and that's an infrared burner. These are commonly found in cook lines mounted above the, the base cooking equipment, whether it's a griddle or a grill top. These are usually wall mounted up and behind, and they're commonly used to melt cheese. You'll hear them called a cheese melter or a salamander, but you get a really intense radiant heat from this surface when the burner's in operation. And that heat can be used to finish food items, sear, char, melt cheese. So these items are very fragile. And you can see this one is brand new, but damaged in shipping. And part of the reason they're so fragile is because of the heat that is generated at the surface, you need a material that can withstand several thousand degrees of heat. When these are in operation, they glow at a dull cherry red color and that temperature is well over a thousand degrees. If we turn the burner here and take a look at the gas inlet, you can see there's a, a unique shape here. The gas line would come in through here. There would be an orifice to control the flow of gas and further down from the orifice would be a gas valve that you could use to throttle or adjust the heat output. But the gas flow would come here to an orifice and then shoot into this venturi. And this tapered venturi shape would draw primary air in with the gas to create a combustible mixture all through the body of the burner. That combustible mixture forces its way up through these small holes. And you can see they're, they're very tiny. And as the, the flame burns, as that mixture burns, it sits right on the surface of this ceramic grid. And it heats the surface of this ceramic grid to the point where it emits infrared energy. And that's that kind of dull glow that you get. Now you can see as well in between the, the tiles here, there's some gasketing material. And you have to pay very close attention to that gasketing material whenever you're working with these. You want to make sure these burners are not cracked and that that gasketing material is still in place and not pushed out or gone. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take it apart here and take a look at what's inside. So with all that apart, you can start to see the gasketing, this very fine fiber gasketing that's around each tile. Uh, this is a really good example of one because it can come apart, but not all are able to come apart. If you have one that's got rolled edges that come, come in and just cover the edges of the ceramic tiles, and one of those tiles gets broken, it's pretty much the end of the entire burner assembly. So let's go ahead and get one of these tiles out so you can see what's down inside. You can see the tile is uh, a little less than a half an inch thick and it's just a very fine grid of holes on both surfaces. There's a bit more texture to the flame front side. It's got some some waviness to it but the the back side is pretty much perfectly flat. You can see how tight the fit of this gasketing was and that's really critical because if there's a, a weak seal between the gasket and the body of the burner, what you'll get is a, a flame that kind of rolls in around the edge of that. But as that flame is pushing past the gap, you're losing pressure on the back of all the rest of the burner. So you'll get a hot spot. So now that we've got the tiles out, you can see there's really not much inside. There's a, a long venturi tube that comes all the way into this part of the burner and then it's covered with some sheet metal. There's some holes and there's some holes in the back of that sheet metal and then it's just open space. And the entire principle of this relies on that gas and air coming down through the venturi to keep positive pressure on the inside of this compartment. It's a very simple system. When we talk about the principles at work it's working on pressure in the venturi of that tube. And that creates our combustible mixture at a positive pressure. And we then force that through the tiles to create that infrared heat off the tile. 
And when we talk about how it fails, it's almost always this. It's almost always a broken tile or damaged gasketing. Because these ceramic tiles get so hot, if they're hot and they're splashed with water, that thermal stress can crack them. Or in the case of this burner, mechanical force. Something hit this and pushed it in and broke the ceramic matrix. You can also run into trouble with grease in the venturi. This long venturi tube is drawing air in from around the equipment. And if this is mounted above a grill that cooks very greasy items like uh, bacon or hamburger, that grease-laden air coming off the grill will get pulled in here as this unit runs, and it will coat the inside of this tube with grease. As that happens, we choke down, we lose airflow, and the burner stops operating correctly. It no longer has the correct mixture of gas and air to combust correctly. You can try and clean this venturi out, but realistically you're, you're probably going to have to replace the burner at that point because that grease will eventually get into this part of the burner assembly and at that point you, you're pretty much done. Alright, so this is a pretty quick one. It's a pretty simple object, but it's pretty neat. Uh, thanks for watching. Hi folks, my name is Jack Kell and I'm a senior technical trainer for SmartCare. The video you've just watched is part of a larger series of technical training videos we make available to our technicians at SmartCare. If you found this interesting and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll be releasing a new component teardown video every Tuesday in 2022. If you're already a smart care technician and you have a part that you'd like to see me tear down, please reach out to me internally for shipping instructions. If you're not a smart care technician, but you or someone you know would like to learn more about a career as a service technician specializing in commercial restaurant equipment, please check out our open positions at www.smartcaresolutions.com forward slash careers. Thanks for watching.